December Eve, there's a star in the east Illuminating the fields that lie beneath Travelers journey from so far away To visit a child in a manger he lay Hello everyone and welcome back to your girl's channel Today, I have for you this more dramatic look because I was looking back to my videos and in the past few months, I've just been rocking a really natural, almost like no makeup look. So I was like, girl, time to switch it up. So I have this more dramatic, plummy, purpley, smoky eye that I thought would be perfect if you guys are going to any holiday parties or maybe you're just finding a look to switch it up. Before I get started, I wanna say a huge thank you to Sephora for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. I know many of you guys love Sephora just as much as I do. So this collab was super exciting for me. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys like this look that I put together and maybe it will inspire you for a different look this holiday season or maybe inspire you on what to get your friends and family this holiday because every year I ask my sister, my mom or my friends, I'm like, what do you guys want? And they're always Sephora gift card or they just want makeup. Everything I use in this video is from Sephora and I love them all. So if you guys would like to check them out, I'll leave all the links down below. So make sure you check that out. Um, so yeah, with that being said, let's jump right in and get into the makeup. I absolutely love this look and I thought it would be perfect for a holiday party or even a holiday date night look. So of course you want to start with a good base so that your makeup stays locked in. So I'm taking the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer and I'm going to rub this all over my skin. It has a really nice bouncy texture and I do feel like it helps hold my foundation throughout the day. So I'm spreading this all over my skin evenly, let that dry and then we're going to move on to foundation. The foundation I'm wearing today is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. I love this foundation because it lasts all day and there are so many shades, girl. You have to check out this foundation. And I'm actually gonna mix in a little bit of my Cover FX because I got this foundation about a month ago and I kind of lost my tan. So by mixing this in, it will get me my perfect shade. And now I'm just bouncing it in with a beauty blender, which is my absolute favorite tool for this foundation. The brows frame your face, so we cannot forget about them brows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz in the color Soft Brown. Not a surprise here, you guys have seen me use this for years and I absolutely love it. So I'm just doing short little strokes so that it mimics brow hairs and as you guys can see, what a difference. And now, the star of this look. Da, 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 da. This is the new Tarte Limited Edition Buried Treasure Eyeshadow Palette. It's from their Rainforest of the Sea collection, which means there's antioxidants and coconut in them. So they all have like a very soft, velvety feel, as you guys can see here. It just glides on like butter. That's why I'm using my fingers mostly for this eyeshadow look. There are 10 different shades in this palette, and I just love. I'm in love with plum and pink shades lately. Anybody else? Okay, so first up, I'm using the color Snorkel. Snorkel is like a soft, shimmery, pretty pink, as you guys can see here. I'm using my ring finger and I'm placing it all over my lid as a base. Next up, using my finger once again, I'm taking the shade Naughty. Naughty is like a plummy, purpley shade. I'm placing that over Snorkel with my finger and I'm just slightly patting that in. I want this look to be more on the dramatic side, so I'm going to take the shade Dive, which is the darkest shade in this palette. It is like a matte dark purple, and I'm taking this brush that I actually stole out of my Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. I love the brush in the palette, so I'm just using that and tapping it into my outer corners. You guys know I love using my fingers for eyeshadows, so of course I'm going to use my finger once again, and I'm taking Coconut and placing that on my brow bone. I want to give my inner corners a little pop, so I'm taking Coin, which is a golden shade, and I'm placing that in my inner corners, and to top it off, I'm going to take a little bit of coconut and place that right above it. Mm. 
I love finishing off all my eye looks with a small little cat eye. I think it really accentuates my mono lids. So I'm taking the Hourglass Liquid Voyeur Liquid Eyeliner. As you guys know, I love this eyeliner. I've used it in pretty much every single one of my makeup tutorials. And I think the cat eye looks pretty bomb. Alrighty, now that the eyes are done, it's time to add some life back into our cheeks so we look alive. Here I'm taking the Too Faced Sweetheart Sweet Tea Bronzer, that's a tongue twister. I really love this bronzer because it's the perfect, perfect bronzy shade. I'm using the Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush and I'm just dusting this over my cheekbones. I've been obsessed with this blush for years and I don't think there's going to come a time where I will stop using it. It is the Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush in Peach Beach. Oh my god, all these tongue twisters. I'm using the same brush and I'm just dusting this over my cheekbones and it's literally the perfect shade of pink. I have another favorite product I have to show you guys. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. Let me do swatches for you because this highlighter palette is bomb. Look at how every shade is just gliding on so, so buttery, so velvety. You only need a little bit of this and you will be glowing, sister. So in this palette, you have three shades. You have Lucent Strobe Light, Pure Strobe Light, and Absolute Strobe Light. Each shade has pearls in it, so it's going to give you that dimensional glow when you apply it to your face. It also has a velvety texture and it's very pigmented, so you only need very little to do the job. Today, I'm going to be using Lucent Strobe Light, which has more of a rosy pinky undertone which I absolutely love because I think it just really ties in with this plummy pinky look that I have going on on my eyes and I'm using this brush that is not a highlighter brush but it will have to work because your girl is living at Wall's house right now and I don't have all of my makeup so because I'm using a non highlighter brush I just went in with a big fluffy brush to blend it all out so it looks seamless And here we are at the last step to finish the look. So for my lips, I want to keep it nice and natural since we have bold colors on the eyes. I'll be using the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Buttercream Lip Gloss in the shade Snarky. I love the shade because it's just a pretty natural, very close to your natural lip color shade. So I applied this on my lips and we are done. Alrighty, my sisters, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some inspiration for your next holiday party makeup look. Or maybe you can wear it for your next date night. I always say that makeup should be fun, so why not? Any chance that you get, switch it up, try some new. I hope this video inspired some gift ideas in case you guys are looking for that. And thank you so much again to Sephora for partnering with me on this video. All the links to the products I use will be listed down below, so be sure to check that out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!